talk about hamburgers. In the tradition that I come from, there's no hamburgers on bread. There's kifteta. And uh, that is a whole different story. Because you have to, first of all, mix all of your ingredients uh, very well. Very, 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 very well. Uh, including all the different kinds of uh, minced meat and spices and onions and then they're called kiftet and they're delightful but for good old American hamburgers I opened up once again the Fanny Farmer cookbook and here's a recipe for hamburgers. The secret of first-rate hamburgers is to use medium lean meat. Chuck is about the best or grind your own from the skirt. Particularly if you have a good food press processor, which does a good job. The more you handle or grind hamburger, the more compact and dry it becomes. Now this eh, was news for me. And uh, <clears throat> my kids, um, when I say, hey, dinner's ready, they say, well, what's for dinner? And I say, hamburgers. Well, is it uh, mommy hamburgers or are they bought from the store? So this is useful if you want to find out how uh, not to do stuff, I suppose. Uh, divide them and, and shape the patties as lightly as possible and don't press down on them when cooking or you will squeeze all the juice out. For cat hamburger patties in buns with various trimming, you can follow suit. So salt, freshly ground pepper, one and a half pounds, medium lean ground beef, one tablespoon butter, one tablespoon cooking oil. Salt and pepper the meat, the meat and mix with a light hand. Shape into four patties around three quarter inch thick. Melt the butter and oil in the skillet until bubbling. Then add the hamburgers. Oh my God! Fry two three minutes on each side for rare. Four to five each side for medium. Six minutes each side. Well done. Pour pan drippings over and serve. Oh no, you don't want to do that. Broiled hamburgers. Put the patties on a lightly oiled broiler rack and place four inches below a preheated broiler. Broil four to five minutes on each side for medium rare, five six for well done. Hamburgers with a red wine sauce. After removing the hamburgers from the pan, saute two tablespoon minced shallots or scallions for one minute. Now that sounds good. And add one third cup red wine. Cook down rapidly to a half. Swirl in two tablespoons butter. Pour over the hamburgers. Very interesting. Hamburger stroganoff. Keep the cooked hamburgers warm while you prepare the stroganoff sauce, which consists of melt two tablespoons butter. Butter seems to be very prevalent around here. In the same skillet. Add one onion, finely chopped, saute until translucent, add quarter pound sliced mushrooms, mushrooms are nice, and cook five minutes, stir in three quarter cup sour, sour cream. When warm through, return the hamburgers to the skillet, spoon sauce over them to heat. Serve, that's it, with paprika. Alright, so I tried not to handle the hamburger, but I couldn't just... Uh, kind of sprinkle the salt and pepper on top. So the first couple of them came out really apart, so they had to be uh, put in with a lot that didn't work out, and kind of we ate them on the go. <laughs> However, then I tried uh, well the pan sauteed version. And those, as you can suppose, are way too fatty. And so the last four, there were small ones, 
went on the grill. And those came out perfect. So, happy broiling, cooking, sauteing, grilling. <laughs>